Alana. We're going to be watching some One Piece today. Um, we left off where Odin was confronting Ashura. Like, he went and found Ashura. He left all the guys um, behind, and he just went by himself. Thug life, Odin, because he was just like, you know what? I don't need my, my friends help. Even though I don't know if I should call them his friends, because he seems to be annoyed every time they follow him. Um, but yeah, he left everybody, and then skedaddled to Ashida and now it seems as if things are about to like heat up between the two. I don't have any like doubts of Odin. I mean come on now. Odin just sliced a freaking mythical boar in freaking half. Like freaking half. So I I don't I know Odin can whoop some ass. So I'm not too worried about Odin at all. But I know the guys, you know, they want to be his retainers and protectors. So they're rushing now to um, to find Odin. Um, they know what direction he's going and they know what he's about to do. So hopefully they'll pull up and then we get to see how that whole situation um, goes down. We also see that Orochi is a big fat snake, hence the name. He, I believe he stole from Yasuye and then blamed it on Odin because Odin is an easy target to use. He's a good alibi um, because nobody really cares for Odin too much. I mean, I feel as if the Wano have a love-hate relationship at this moment. Some men adore and admire him and then other ones is like, man, bump him. Give my wife and my daughter back. <laughs> like That's how it is. It's a love-hate relationship when it comes to Odin. Um, but we cannot take away how strong he is. And even though he does things awkwardly, he does have good intentions behind it. Now, I don't know about them here my women, you know what I'm saying? The only intention he would think about was the head down there. But other than that, he comes from a good place. <laughs> um, but yeah, we see how all the guys kind of entered the um uh into like his, his his retainers and stuff like that so we get to see how that all um came together with rizo which i wonder what which ninja lady kind of like broke his heart i want to say it could have been our girl shinobu but i'm not certain i'm not i'm not too sure about that um we also seen how kanjiro joined um Denjiro, we Denjiro is one that I, I'm really curious about because he was one of the first ones that kind of was like, I'm ditching everything and I'm following this man. And for all of um, the Akazaya 9 to be together and him not show up, I wonder why. I wonder why. So, um, yeah, worried about that. But, yeah, I think we see Orochi being a snake. We see Denjiro and the guys following him, uh, well, following Odin. And we saw that crazy, crazy move he did, what Odin did to the white boar. Man, that freaking, like how he, bro, the effects and everything of, of that scene was amazing. So I can't wait to see how this fight with him and Ashura is going to go. I wonder if we're going to see any more cool moves because I'll be down for it. But yeah, without further ado, let's just go ahead and jump on into some more One Piece. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, oh, my. <laughs> Fuck all them up. Hell, them licking their knives is like, oh, a freak drink. <laughs> wow, right. <laughs> oh, shoot. Look at him powering up. <laughs> Look at that old rock. Now, that is how you use Ruo, right? He's using it. I'll, I'll be like, I'll quit. <laughs> I want no part. Damn it. That's stupid. They can't feel that. <laughs> I love their laughs. Right. <laughs> yeah, he broke it. Two backgrounds clashing. Whoa! I love the effect that they're giving them when they're powering up. Shit! Shit! Balls of fire. One thing I can say, the effect of 
Ashura's looks um, untamed, while it seems if Odin's is like controlled. Arrows in his arm. It took him that long to get to where he was. Do you still love me? Man, this man's sitting on top of his big ass. And now he seems like to welcome them in. Before, I don't know, he kind of looked annoyed that they were following him. But now he seems okay with them. <laughs> what did he do this time? <laughs> what would happen to that man? Oh, oh. Was it was it Inosuke? And became friends. <laughs> they dropped his disavowal. Oh, Tsuda. She kinda reminds me of Robin a bit. Like how her facial structure is here. <laughs> they all fight for his love and attention. Ooh. <laughs> I wonder what made e uh Izo leave. Cause it seemed that he actually cared about Odin as well. And for him to join the Whitebeard Pirates, I wonder why. That smile. Aww. Why he can't get up? <laughs> oh, he likes chaos, bro. <laughs> he was trying to be nice. Loves them like family. Oh, look, he dropped it. He dropped it real quick. I'm really wondering how he met Oto on Otoko. Um, Momo's dad, or mom, I mean. Oh, who are those two people in the back? I don't like when they shadow things out. They know I'm nosy. <laughs> oh, okay. Nakomamushi Inorashi. Kawamatsu? Oh, no. I didn't know Kawamatsu was, um, had found them. I thought we saw a different story. Maybe that was a different time. <laughs> it's so young. <laughs> oh, they're actually gonna light them on fire. Whoa. Yeah, but I run. Oh, well, <laughs> they're crushed. <laughs> Are you sure he's only 16 here? <laughs> he's like a full grown man to me. <laughs> His voice sounds familiar. <laughs> Look at Ezel's face. Our brothers all. Okay, now this is a good Odin. <gasps> oh, they fit in. <laughs> if it wasn't boiled, <laughs> that is so corny. We're fishmen. I freaking knew it. <sighs> oh, 
so he doesn't get beat and killed. Okay, but it's kind of weird. Well, I mean, I don't know what time, like how things were in this time. So for them to actually go to Tawano is kind of weird, though. Or at least be close to it. It's still too hot. <laughs> They're not leaving. I know, right? So take care. <laughs> now you're stuck. <laughs> we got more people. Oh, he was actually taken. He gave more money to Orochi. Oh, oh my gosh. He's trying to teach you how to become a ninja. Oh, so this is what the man they're trying to steal. Okay, is that supposed to be Izo or is that supposed to be... No, that's... Izo, right? Yeah, that's Izo. More. Is it a trap? I know I would say the same thing. They love Odin. Face the get some act right. <laughs> Say it with your chest. Say it, shot. <laughs> <laughs> he still seems annoyed. Aww. Okay, Denjiro. Kawamatsu, Kanjuro. All these special events is nice. I love it. You know another thing I'm I, I'm curious about? Since Whitebeard is gone, where's Izo? Oh, I would think they'll try to come, well, he would try to come back. They're using for the present day. Wow. Ooh. Okay, they dripped out. I like. He, this is where he dyed his hair black. Yo, they look so, 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 so cool. Super cool. They weren't expecting them to come out like this. <laughs> Is this my child? <laughs> I'm surprised his dad didn't say anything about Nakomamusha Inarashi being around. He was sick. Orochi. Itachi. White beard. Marco! Whoa, what are you looking? I don't know why I thought he only had nothing but dudes in his uh crew. So this is where white beard comes in. Mmm. Alright, this episode was pretty dope. Alright, we see how um, Odin, you know, went against Ashura. It seems as though, you know, he, man, Odin is just uh, an overall well-balanced character. Um, uh, you know, he's, he's goofy and funny. He has his moments, but fighting wise, how he was being able to use his Ruo was amazing. And we see Ashura use his and Ashura's look more like wild while Odin's look more tamed. I love how he went against the whole batch of them and then like when the guys had came in he just sitting on top of Ashura like do you guys love me I would have been looking like duh look at this I'm look what I'm walking into I'm walking into this dude that I already admire 
that wiped out all these 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 guys that have been like bad apples, you know, period. And then I see you sitting on top of the leader, the main one that's been terrorizing everything. Like, hell yeah, hail to you, sir. I'm with you, homie. You know what I mean? So I think that is dope. I love how, you know, as he's able to change Cootie and stuff like that, he's he's becoming more like more beloved by just not his retainers or anything like that. He's by being loved by everyone. Even his dad renounced the um this avowal that he placed on Odin and basically everybody just like starting to admire him a lot more. See at first it was more like a love hate relationship but now it seems as if now it's all turning from hate to love. You know what I mean? Not just the 50-50. Um, Orochi is just... Ugh, I don't understand why Odin was so nice to him in the first place. Lending him money for what? Um, I'm I'm seeing now how the whole thing with Kinemon and them stealing uh, Yasui's money is coming into effect now. Um, and how Yasui went about you know, wanting them to take the money and then use this opportunity to become, you know, good representations of what retainers and vassals are supposed to be in honor of Odin. So I really, really appreciated that. Yasuge yeah, is just a bump. Like, just thinking about how how he had to go out and how Orochi was behind it just really pisses me off thinking back, but whatever. Um, the whole time I was wondering, like, you know, we see Izo growing up with Odin and then all the time, like, how did he, what, what kind of, what all went down for Izo to join Whitebeard. Um, but we see now at the end of this episode, Whitebeard coming up and something's about to happen. And I'm very curious. I don't know if Odin gonna have to go against him. Well, hold on. That's how that's how Roger and them met. So maybe they all happen to 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 hang out with Whitebeard and go with Whitebeard or whatever, and then Izo decided to stay. You know what I'm saying? And just hang tight with Whitebeard, maybe because he saw that Whitebeard was then getting sick and he didn't want to leave him alone. And, you know what I mean? I don't know. All this could have happened. We see Marco funny looking. He looks so funny looking now. I like I like grown Marco. This Marco right here, mm -mm, ain't cutting it. I like I like grown Marco. This one, questionable, very questionable. Um, we also see how Nekomamushi and Inuashi and uh, Kawamatsu so happen to to run into each other to where Odin had to save them from the people on the beach, and then those three at the same time ended up staying with Odin. Um, I think it's just weird how also how Kalamatsu's mom and uh, was his dad. His dad must have died in um, the shipwreck or whatever. And and his mom, why, okay, kind of like wound up in Wano. I don't remember if Wano was still closed off. I mean, it would have to be still kind of hard to to get to Wano. I feel as if you're trying to get to Wano, you literally had to get go through or go up that waterfall and that would basically mean right that they are trying to pers purposefully get to Wano so does this mean Whitebeard was purposefully trying to get to Wano too um but Kawamatsu's family for them to just get there is just kind of odd like why I mean were they trying to and if they weren't trying to get to Wano where were they trying to go then? You know what I mean? I just find that very odd. I don't know. Maybe just how Zo had a pact with the Kozuki clan. Who's to say that maybe um, Kawamatsu's family or whatever then had a pact with um, the Kozukis? You know what I mean? The same. I don't know. I just think it's just kind of weird how that all wound up. Because I don't remember how it... Like how if Wano was totally closed at this time or was it open to where anybody could come or anything like that i just didn't i don't know for sure yet but i'm curious to see or find out later on especially with Whitebeard being there i feel as if this next episode is going to clear all that up for me um but yeah i love seeing how odin you know at first you know he's rugged he's rough around the edges and his crews are rough around the edges um but then it's like they're all bossing up and i can't wait i feel as if this is going to be the next episode is going to be really really good this was good, but I feel like the next episode is going to be really, really good. But yeah, thank you guys for watching this uh, with me, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. <laughs>